What's going on gamers? It's Fox2. We're back on Black Ops 3 today. Um, doing some free-for-all, I believe, in this gameplay. Uh, going really well right up until the point where you'll see that I get a connection interrupted and the game drops. But that's not what I want to talk about. I don't want to talk about the gameplay at all today. Instead, I want to talk about the Call of Duty community. Um, the Call of Duty community on YouTube specifically. Uh, has been on the rebound. It's been kind of on the ropes for the last two years. Uh, through Black Ops 1, Modern Warfare 3, and Black Ops 2 was kind of the height of the YouTube uh, community for Call of Duty and e-gaming. Um, then Ghosts and Advanced Warfare came out, and they were very unpopular with a lot of the Call of Duty community. And you saw the YouTube commentators kind of drift off to play other games, GTA 5 and, uh, gosh, I mean, really just about anything you can imagine. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, now that Black Ops 3 is out, we're starting to see a resurgence in the Call of Duty YouTubing uh, gaming community. You're seeing more of the old YouTubers that have been doing this for some time coming back to making videos about Call of Duty, about the current Call of Duty, instead of reaching out there and making videos about other stuff. Um, Keemstar, if you haven't, uh, he, he runs the Drama Alert channel. He, he made a very interesting video a while ago talking about the state of the community and uh, some things that we could do to improve the community and how invested he was in, in improving the community. And I think he brought up some really great points in the fact that what makes the community strong, what makes the community great is collaborations between channels of all sizes, not just huge channels helping little channels, but little channels working together with each other, big channels doing uh, collaborations together. Um, dual commentaries, all these things help grow the community, send viewers from one channel to another channel. I think that's an important part of the community. I think he hit the nail right on the head. We're missing that. We don't have that around anymore. Um, he said he was going to work on fixing that by creating a community channel um, to kind of help the community come back. Um, he hasn't done that. I was a big supporter. Um, instead, what it developed, you know, he made this video talking a huge game about what he was going to do to help the gaming community, the Call of Duty YouTube community. Instead, he created his own team and brought people into it. Um, it really feels more like they're working just for sponsorships for themselves and uh, to grow those specific five, seven channels for the Thrust Nation, I think is what the team name is called. Um, I mean, with the popularity of Drum Alert, he was able to garner 40,000 subscribers almost instantaneously, almost overnight, 40,000 uh, subscribers to this channel, and it's really not being used to develop the Call of Duty YouTube community as a whole. Instead, it's developing a set of six YouTubers that he has handpicked himself or he and his team, if you will, uh, has handpicked to develop. So, I mean, good for them. That's great. That's, that's, that's cool. I mean, I, I get it. That's a very popular business model. That's a very popular, um, successful strategy to develop those people, those few channels, but I don't think that it's going to, um, I'm not under the illusion that that is what's going to cure the Call of Duty community. He is not the savior of the Call of Duty community. What needs to happen is the smaller YouTubers all need to work together, uh, to band together, do some cross promotion, some, some, uh, some collaboration uh, of videos, um, not shout outs. Shout outs are useless, essentially. They really don't help. Um, if they do anything, they get you a handful of subscribers that will probably never watch your video content. And that's not really going to help anything because if they're not watching your videos, then they're not going to see if you do any collaborations or have any really great videos featuring another YouTuber. So I'm not going to sit here and pretend to have the perfect answer, but I think that this is something that is important uh, if you're a big fan of Call of Duty, especially uh, on YouTube. 
I think that this is something that we really all need to kind of think about and work on and try to focus on shining the light on other YouTubers, not just yourself, not just your two friends um, that you happen to play with every single time you play, but try to reach out, try to meet other YouTubers, try to, uh, you know, network within the Call of Duty community. If if you have any, you know, uh, ideas or concepts or anything like that, I would love to hear them. Shoot me a message on the Fox 2 Facebook page. Leave a comment in the comment section below about an idea that, that could help the Call of Duty community. I have taken a break from this YouTube community for the last two years, essentially, because the last two Call of Duties were terrible. But this game is really fun, and I think it's up to us to make the community a great great thing again um yeah that's i mean i think that's about all i've got to say we're about to hit some connection interrupted in this gameplay um which is really unfortunate i haven't had too many connection problems thus far with the game i think i've only been gotten the connection interrupted thing maybe maybe three or four times out of you know my uh, gosh i've maybe a hundred games that i've played thus far so hopefully they'll keep the connection thing uh you know, going smoothly, but if not, that could be a real, real bummer. There it is. All right, guys, have a good day.